got to pay attention all the time. <coughs> <laughs> Come on, go room. Oh, and so how? All right. Weird weather. I don't even. I grew up my whole life. It's like you can't do nothing about the weather. So this whole changing the weather thing doesn't really land on me I just don't like it <laughs> I mean uh, I suppose it could be them it could be natural they could be doing something else not even trying to do the weather and it's just a side effect and they don't care doesn't matter to me it's gonna happen and it might not happen if I did something about it but I don't do anything about it so it's gonna happen I don't know how it's gonna change you don't know their plans you know so, whatever that my lunch break thing we started talking about some tunnels and stuff and I don't know when the when they're like showing you stuff that you've never seen before or having some kind of theory that you never thought of kind of stuff is interesting but my mom doesn't believe in it all of this craziness about the history I mean she doesn't disbelieve like think that you're crazy or anything but she just doesn't think it's as bad as what they say you know and uh she already knows all the stuff that they're talking about on uh on that channel about the 
caves in Turkey, except for there's like little details, little things that they they leave out of the mainstream articles, like the 200 other cities that are known about, that are known, 200 other cities underground, under underground cave dwellings. There's there's supposedly over 600 entries or exits of this cave system coming up into people's houses and stuff. I mean, that's pretty fucking, that's pretty fucking crazy. Isn't that fucking crazy? I think it's, I think it's the underground city type of thing, you know. I don't think they dug these places out and uh, put them in there, you know, dug dug out this big old place I think there was a big old place that got buried and then people came along later on and dug out spots in it I, I don't know that's just I'm not looking at any pictures when I say that I'm just thinking about how how could these things come to be you know and uh, I mean I have seen pictures I'm not going totally blind, but. What, what it seems like, it looks like mostly, and I don't agree with this, but I know what everybody would say. Everybody would look at that turbo. That was a good one. About 20 feet. Anyways, so easily distracted. I guess we're going to the water. Poland? He's in a rock. What's he doing?
I don't do it as much as I would like to and uh, I don't talk about it as much as I should but meditation is uh, a pretty positive thing to be putting into your life This was a dog's fought yesterday. What are we smelling here? Not even interested today. Must have been somebody's pee. Probably that cow tay. Sure is comfy, but the dog's pulling on me. The bike shows right up there. I think you can hear people walking on it. Showing us, hey, this is what I do, and then I come down here. Sometimes I sit down like that. Hey, cut it out. Why do you do that? He's holding the beast back.
six is a little bit better. What is it? Does it mean anything? So, all these people are actors, right? Everybody's an actor. The whole world is a stage. Go, Ru, come on. Don't go so far. The whole world is a stage. And uh, these people aren't even what they portray themselves as. You know, Hulk Hogan, Arnold Schwarzenegger, Sylvester Stallone, they're, they're all women, transgender women, hormones and everything, the whole nine yards, fucking specimens, that's, that's what, that's what the, the trans, gender investigators come up with that's what they say this isn't really my claim I, I do claim that I when I look at the the evidence provided I have to agree uh, I didn't search any of this out I, I never would have known I, I just thought that there was a lot of ugly people in Hollywood. A lot of, like, Holly Weird was about the people, you know? About the tricks of Hollywood. Tom Cruise is, like, three feet tall. And, uh, they make him look like an action hero. It's, it's, it's kind of like backwards reality type of thing. And she's a... She's a, a really famous transgender. Sorry. It's not me. I'm not the one doing it. So people don't need to get mad at me. But anyways. So these people come out and they got something to say. Something for your well-being. You know. We got to vote for Trump. That's what Hulk Hogan's saying. He's saying... I was weak, brother. I, I, I didn't stand behind the party that I wanted, you know. But but he, he did his his stance with his actions, you know. We can we can all tell by the agendas that you're pushing, by the people that you work for, what 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 your group is, you know. Your your group is mainly deception. It doesn't. It doesn't really have anything opposite of Republican or anything like that. You know, they're all the same. But anyways, come here. What do you have to pull on me like that? What do you do when? A known liar is telling you something. Is it for your own good? It couldn't be, could it? All these people playing on your emotions? Well, you don't want to die, do you? You don't want other people to die, do you? You don't want... You don't want those stinky people from other countries coming here, do you? All that stuff? So you're gonna play the game where we have borders, which we're all we're all born into this. I don't think you guys chose this. I mean, you can choose to support it if you want to or not. 
but you were born into where you live and you had no choice in the in the matter of whether or not you're allowed to move to another place i mean sure within within the confines of this this larger place you're allowed to move around but are, are you allowed to move to this other place well maybe eventually you are and that's if there's no fucking problem with you moving there and let's say that you do get to move there against somebody's will those people control the whole area and so sure you got to make your own choice but are you going to be making your own choice about the things that happen to you while you're in that area i don't know i don't know really how far would they go if the morals will go so far as to fund both sides of a war and not really care who wins or loses because the definition of winning a war is is being the one that funds it and, and having it go for the longest of periods of time that would be a successful war you know the one person the one group that the the benefits is not the the defenders or the aggressors it's the instigators why else would they be called instigators why 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 would they create a war if they didn't have some kind of benefit and that's that's doing the act of murder not directly but it's creating murder of mass mass murder for the, the sole benefit of your pocketbook their pocketbook not yours don't, don't get confused so I guess we're just too weak. I don't like saying that I'm weak. But maybe saying that I'm weak in this area makes me stronger in other areas. I don't need you to say that you're weak to know that you're weak because We're in this mess together. You aren't making it. I don't even care if you're like some rich millionaire. I might even go so far as to say a billionaire, but I know for almost damn well sure that the millionaires don't got it figured out. They don't got it figured out. You're in a deeper hole than me. You're gonna keep all of me. You're gonna, you're gonna do some things. That I could never justify doing. I know it. Oops, I accidentally became a millionaire. I didn't even do anything bad to anyone. I never used anyone. All I did was become a poster boy for the fucking system. It's, it's just that. Just by trying to survive, I guess we all become poster boys for our position in life. Oh, you want to be a middle class American? It's not as much pressure as being a millionaire. 
because you ain't got nothing nobody wants besides energy. I suppose when it all boils down, that's all anybody wants is your time, your attention. Your attention. There we go. I hit the nail on the head. Intent. Your intention. What are you going to manifest today? What are you going to create today? With your imagination. With your intent. With your belief. What are you going to make today? Well, don't worry about it. You don't need to know. It's not your design. Somebody else has got the reins and they're gonna they're gonna have you make the same thing that you made yesterday. The usury system. I'm doing it too. Fucking A. How do we stop? 